Oh God, these two still fighting? Oh, I, as Lucifer, I would have beat both y'all asses. Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're enjoying my Lucifer content, please remember to like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next to it because that'll alert you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because I put the playlist to all my Lucifer uh, reactions so you can find them all in one place. And you can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me some support over there if you like. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing everything that I've just listed, this lets you to know that you're enjoying my content. Therefore, they'll push it up more. So the shout out for this video goes to Becky Dog Lover. Thank you for being the first to comment on my last video. Much, much appreciated. So last episode, I enjoyed I think it was one of the funniest um, Lucifer episodes we had. Who knew that Lucifer and Pears would make the duo that they make? Because it's been a while since we've had like Lucifer de have like a outside friend. And by an outside friend, I mean someone that is not Maze, Chloe, Dr. Linda, uh, put Trixie in there. The last time I think we had one was episode 9 with the priest and he died so I think that was the last really outside friend that we had really I'm trying to think it's like LTA. yeah yeah I think he was the last one so to have past true identity be revealed for him to be the friend that Lucifer we we had we'd be missing for a while outside friend it's a very interesting touch again don't know if what Pears has told us is 100% true, but I do think that Pears and Lucifer do have a lot in common. And if it is true, what you guys said in comment was um, the kiss was improvised like he wasn't supposed to do that, that's hilarious. Uh, we, we need to warn people though because we need consent, but that was hilarious if, it's, if that story is true. Um, but yeah, so... Um, Nothing. Did anything move on with the story? I still like. I still love the fact that he he really wanted the test. If he cut pairs in half, what pairs told him was true. But it's going to be very interesting how they play on this friendship. Then, if that is the route they're going with, because you gotta take into consideration if they are friends and pairs still is attracted to Chloe, how is Lucifer going to handle that even though they have put their um, relationship at hold for two obvious two different reasons because Lucifer thinks um, Chloe's feelings being manipulated Chloe is don't think Lucifer is the right person for her again because she's a mom she gotta think of Trixie and and Lucifer has shown that he's a little too unreliable so it's gonna be interesting to see how that dynamic that is the one drama I want to see compared to Dr. Linda Mays and and, and middle deal little three-way drama because that makes that that three-way drama don't make no sense to me and it it, it just re I just realized when Mays was talking about the weapons that we she was giving him ideas I didn't realize that she was talking about Dr. Linda Middle but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So we are going on to episode uh, 14, yeah, of oh, season three. It's called My Brother's Keeper. Hmm. Okay, who got siblings? Who got siblings on the show? Because <laughs> you know, sometimes it, it does deal with things, but anyway. With that being said, let's jump into this reaction. Ooh, diamonds. 
I said no phone. Sorry. Oh, it's just my sister. LAPD? Your sister's a cop. She works in forensics. Trust me, okay? Just Is this Ella? Come on, Jay. I'm your sister. I'm not supposed to have to leave a message after the beep. You're supposed to call me back. Is this the one we met? Or is this a different one? Take off your shirt. Oh shit. Don't you flatter yourself. In my quest to help you die, I've done some research. I think the key may lie in understanding the mark that my father placed on you. Oh, that's a waste of time. Oh, the mark of game. I've read every book. I've analyzed every language. Again, you gotta say this well, right. Like the rest of it, the tattoo on top, the skull and the spears. Well, my body's constantly healing. I have to reapply the tattoo every few months. Well, why bother at all? Because it represents my immortality, my curse. I hate it. Yes, yes, you hate living forever because you can't see how much fun it is. I'll never understand you. <laughs> you have something? Seriously? Well, it's worth a try. <laughs> yeah! I'm you in the DVC. DVC? My research text. Hey, Tom Hanks is a national treasure. He is. Also a movie. Not as helpful, though. Your research is watching The Da Vinci Code. And the sequels. No yeah. offense, Lucifer, but I don't think this is in your wheelhouse. No. You're right. Amenadiel's the brainy one. We should ask him. Um. It's a good idea. You think it'll help? Well, we're no. much closer, he and I. Mm-mm. That might not be good, but okay, let's see. Not her having. Oh, no. no, 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 please. Please don't harm me. Stay in my I like that. This time. <laughs> That's such a maze. We're wearing the same shirt. Aw. Sushi shirt! Come on in. I don't know what's going on out there, but I hate it. <sighs> oh, damn, maze. Decker's not here. I'm uh, actually looking for you. Oh, okay. Tricks. Not her dressing up these things like a bit of deals. They can't walk. They can't <laughs> Add that to later. Got it. Hey, at least uh, that... Trixie gonna be a badass when she grows up. Well, my brother came into town yesterday and I can't get a hold of him. I can't find him anywhere. And everyone says that you are the best bounty hunter we've got. Ah, oh, so he's a criminal. No, 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 but... I got a bad feeling. I need your help. Mm. Oh, hey. Okay. Next time. <laughs> leave with that. How much money you got, though? So, does that mean you'll help me? Yeah. No. I told you he want to help. Well, what do you mean, no? God cursed Cain because he killed his own brother, and you want to remove that curse, which God placed on him for a very good reason. Does that even sound like something that I would help you do? I know, right? Well, it did until you put it like that. Look, this is important to me, Amenadiel. Father wanted you to understand Cain's mark. He simply would have sent my angelic brother down to help me. Nice try. <laughs> we've been through a lot, you and I. Oh, lot. I thought we were getting along. I thought we were, well, brothers for once. We are, Lucy, but you're also my test. The reason Father has placed me here on Earth without my powers. He ain't say shit about that. I gave my word, brother. That's not my problem. Aw. My sources say your brother had a meeting here last night. It belongs to a diamond dealer, a Reed Nasir. Never heard of him. But my brother is a diamond authenticator. I mean, it makes sense he'd be here. <laughs> Real sketchy dude. Okay, my brother is literally the one who determines if diamonds are legit. Oh, okay, so this must be a second brother then. Sketchy. So if he was here, he had his reasons. No. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, thank God. I mean, too bad for this dude, but thank you, good guy. Your brother's not dead. Instead, I would just say so. You call the cops. Mays, for the last time, stop telling people not to call <laughs> the cops. And why wouldn't I call this in? Is this the brother who steals cars? Oh, no, Jay's the oldest. Okay. You know how older brothers are. Mm. I'm an only child. Oh, well, Jay is the good one really made me believe I could live a good life. Mm, well, that's what eldest brothers want you to think. Oh, damn. They're talking down to you from their pedestals. Oh, that damn. Oh, damn. Oh, here we go with, again <laughs> with Lucifer. Oh, right, then. Hmm? We still don't know for sure, guys, if he was even here. Oh, no, found his wallet. 
Please, where did you get that? Well, it was in the corner over there when we first walked in. It's your brother. <sighs> Which means he's definitely... Not the killer. Based on the blood spatter, the bullet was fired from this angle, right? From this angle further back would be if you were a lefty. And drum roll, please, my brother is a righty. So obviously there must have been another person here. Uh, okay. In the meantime, you gotta look for your brother. Best for everybody and, and your brother if you just step away from the investigation. Great. Now that we're done with that charade, she'll track down Miss Lopez's murderous brother before she does. Well, I trust Ella's instincts. It does seem like there was another person here. So just to be safe, let's pursue both scenarios. Brothers can't be trusted, detective. They're just delaying our inevitable disappointment. Maybe you need to grow up. You, you eons old and you still act childish. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I've been through some trauma. I've been avoiding it. Uh oh. Recently, um, events have caused me to realize that I need to Face my fears. Dr. Linda, you okay? Lucifer mentioned that you worked wonders with him. I mean, you see some- Oh, no, she yellow. not. Lucifer, why would you, would you send her to her? Right? <laughs> um, Jesus, Lucifer. Ago, I had a near death. She did experience. too, with you. And I think that- Well, that when I was the body. Dead, um, I think that I was in hell. You need to leave now. Oh, I'm do it. I've wasted your time. Lucifer, you, you, that was too cruel. I really am beyond help, aren't I? No, just not by Dr. Linda. Jesus Christ. Brothers, <laughs> am I right? I mean, you get it, you killed yours. I wish I had that option. Yeah. The manager won't help, I take it. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Ever since he found out his dad's favorite, he's been a bit of a dick. How do you know that he's God's favorite? Well, it's a long story involving a flaming sword and a space vagina. Ah! Version. A book said it, so it must be true. Uh oh. Uh oh. Abel was God's, God's favorite so as well. Sense that you found a loose diamond in his office, but can you skip to the part where you help us track down Miss Lopez's disappointment of a brother? We are. Despite Lucifer's attempt to make this case about what's going on with his own brother. Thank you for saying it. Well. It would make sense to find a diamond in the broker's office, unless that diamond was reported stolen. The diamond industry, truly the greatest trick someone other than me played on the world. Yeah. Thousands of dollars for lumps of old coal. That's true enough. Ah, hello there. We're what here. is he eating? We're here to, to get a ring. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Yes, yeah, he was going to surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth is an idiot. I don't know if we came to the right place. I expect a a much higher clarity and and the color here. Ugh. Oh, I see you have quite a discerning eye. I have some other wonderful options. The file said that there was no security footage. All these cameras, they're not new. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. No, how do you know so much about diamonds? Oh, okay. I watched enough Real Housewives to pick it with the best of them. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> really? Can I show you what I don't want? This is what he got me for Valentine's Day. I didn't know that my future husband was that cheap. I am not cheap. That diamond is of the highest quality. Is it? Is it of the highest quality? Mm, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I recognize the serial number, but uh, this diamond is stolen. No. Stolen? I want my future ex-husband arrested for being cheap. But right, for the final time, d darling, I no am not- No need to get the authorities involved. I'm Tiffany James, the owner. Where are you pop up from? We'll find you the perfect diamond. Yeah, it's funny, Miss James. I was waiting for a clerk to make a run for her of a security guard to start sweating. But the owner of the store- Excuse me? Why rob your own store? I'm not cheap, for the record, mm -hmm. but let's cut to the chase, shall we, Tiffany? Oh, God, what's she got my name? Jay Lopez steal diamonds and murder Fareed Nazir. Who's Jay Lopez? Wait. Fareed's dead? Stop prompting the witness. Oh, yeah. The sooner we prove Miss Lopez's elder brother is a liar and a disappointment, the better. Would you excuse us, <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. You're having some kind of fight with the mega deal, but right now, you need to focus on the case. And for the record, I wish I had a brother to fight with. 
So you admit you to me. I'm good being an only child. Sold diamonds here. Well, so let's get on with it, shall we? Mm -mm. Tell me. Here we go. Tiffany. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> that threw me off, hey, my name. Every millennial in the face. Well, damn, what did I do to you? Really? Great. What did millennials do to y'all? It's Gen Z's. They ruined our entire industry with their social consciousness and ethical issues. Sales are way down because of them. Do you know how hard it is to stay afloat? So hard you sure it's millennials or Gen Z's no, you're talking about? Be very part. specific. We just wanted the insurance money. Well, I mean, if anyone's cheap, it's us. Yeah. Oh, why are we here? Jay would never, ever see in a place like this. Two days ago, he used his debit card at a gas station around the corner. He is not a criminal. Yeah. All right, Ella. You've never seen this guy, right? I ain't answering either of you. I was just gonna say you talked to the wrong person. I'm gonna give you two choices. I can either break your arm. Oh God, please or, look. Or I can cut you. Maze. Do you have a brother? Threatening his family. Hardcore. Aren't you? No, she's trying to. Tell her ain't worth this. No J here. See? Oh no. Michael Knight. Is that Knight Rider? Jay's favorite show. Oh no, Doctor. What's wrong? Charlotte Richards. What about her? She came to see me as a client. Oh, good, good. She took my advice. Why would you send her to me? Because you're the best. She tried to kill me. Everything she did came rushing back. You traumatized Doctor. that woman. My mother is gone. Yeah, but the body is still here. She's done nothing to you. She's just an innocent woman who needs help. I still think that's too. She, uh, she already got alcohol in there. Uh, at least she didn't try and kiss you. This is Don Zeichel, the insurance adjuster that covers Tiffany James's store. I'm in your debt. It's rare we actually catch insurance fraud. It's practically an untraceable crime if the thief's got a cleaner. A cleaner. It's uh, someone who can replace the microscopic serial numbers on the diamonds. Ah. Oh. The diamond authenticator. Sure. Why, you know of an authenticator involved? Yeah. Not yet. Well, please keep me in the loop. Great, thank you. Why do I get the feeling that our two-pronged investigation just lost a prong? Yeah. You'll find Alice Brooke. That's so sad. That's a real part of LA. siblings? Thousands and thousands. I was just going to say. Yeah. It can feel like that sometimes. No, she got thousands you close thousands. to any of them? My family doesn't do close. Sounds horrifying. But then, if I was ever in trouble, <sighs> they always had my back. Whoa! No need to go all kung fu on this innocent door. Why aren't you full of surprises? Then she used to steal cards or something like that. Yeah. yeah, she's not gonna get it right until she wants. <laughs> oh, shit! Jay? Uh-oh. So I finally get to meet the infamous Amenadiel. Look, I know who you are, and I know what you want. But I can't help you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. you know, come on, buddy. I just want to chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah? About what? Sports. Favorite child. By chance, you have any idea how annoying it is to be an immortal human being? Can't say that I do. I've been everywhere there is to go. I tried every kind of food, sex, music. Have you tried Game of Thrones? No! <laughs> It's been a literal hell on earth. Well, the punishment fits the crime, Pierce. A little harsh if you ask me. I've always wondered who your father would assign such an important task. It must have been someone he really trusted. Maybe his favorite son. You marked me, didn't you? Oh! Yeah. It was me. Well, I didn't come here to argue right or wrong. In fact, I just need your help. And see, the good news for me is this can actually hurt you now. Lord Jesus. It's Mark on me. No, I, I didn't realize the connection until he said it. I was like, why is he interested in the video? I didn't kill anyone. That guy? Yeah. He was a gem broker I worked with in LA a few times in the past. I was in the bathroom when it happened. You know how I get when I'm nervous? Oh, oh. I couldn't help you. Do not worry. Why don't you please be civilized? <laughs> May say this. You can't believe me. I, I didn't kill anyone. 
So we've had no luck finding this supposed other person. But I think it's best if we talk to Jay first. So have you had any luck finding him? No. No? No luck. Okay. Wow, Ella, okay. you lie. Well, let us know if you do. She's lying. Yeah. Who's lying? Your stylist. Ella, more and more it looks like her brother Jay might be our shooter. We need to get inside Ella's head, figure out where she's taking Jay. If you were her, where would you guys go? Ooh, uh, strip club. Comic-Con. Ah, a forensics convention. Strip yeah, club. idiot. Dude, you already said that. Why would Ella take her brother to a strip club? For the free buffet. She'll go back to the crime scene. So what's it gonna be, a better deal? Shoot me! You need to help me die or vice versa. Are you willing to let an innocent die for pride? Wow. Enough. I gave you the mark. But I was only the messenger of Pierce. I have no idea how to remove it. Everybody out! Now! What are you doing? I told you everything I know. I thought you wouldn't have been of any use, but I needed to make sure. Jesus, Pierce. So now what? Well, now I finally get to kick your angelic ass. Oh, shit. You know what they say, at first you don't succeed. This won't end well for you. All right. All right. Oh, shit. He's not good for you. Your shuttle count's not bad. How's your upkeep? Better than yours. <laughs> oh, they're doing this dumb cut again. Good God. You sure a minute he's human? Damn. Don't make me do this. You what? You gonna kill me? Now I just put a couple bullets in you. Just a couple bullets. You survive. I just keep putting bullets in you. I'm so sorry. Why are you shocked? Walk me through exactly what happened. Wait, wait, wait. You saw the shooter? Yeah, I peeked out from the door and saw him standing over Farid. The guy wore red wingtip shoes. Jay, the door opens outward. So? You so, couldn't see. Jay, from your vantage point inside, it would have been impossible for you to see the killer standing over the body. Where's the stash room? If Farid is a diamond thief, he definitely had the stash room. Right here. Laser engraving equipment. Ella? What the hell, Ella? Did you call the cops? I trusted you. No, I swear, I, I didn't call them. Oh, this is much more fun than a strip club. As he said that equipment replaces the serial number on the stolen diamonds. Is that what you were doing? That's what he was. Okay, fine. Put the gun down. Why? Wait, you don't have to do Stop this. Slow pass. You still think he's innocent? I would have locked up Ella for interference. I would. It's been fun. You can't leave. The whole police force thinks that he's guilty now. We need to get to him first. You hired me to find him. I found him. I thought you and I, you know, we, we connected. Child! You really don't care at all about helping me find my brother? No! You mean the brother who forged diamonds, pulled a gun on us, probably killed a guy, and who's definitely been lying to you all this time? Ella! No, no Ella, you're too grown to be, the, to be acting like this. I'm sorry. Maybe you're right. You're too grown. He's not who I thought he was. You know what? Family shouldn't do that to each other. I mean, we're supposed to help each other. Says who? No sign of him. That was certainly exciting, wasn't it? Go ahead. Say it. How could I have been so blind? Calm down. I mean, Jay lied to me about everything. Ooh, Ella goes to the extreme. Lied about seeing the killer, too. <laughs> you I was giving people alcohol. Ella. Jay did see the killer. Not from the bathroom, but from right here. What exactly did he say he saw? Uh, a guy wearing a mask and red wingtip shoes. Wingtips? Ooh, that's oddly strong footwear again for a murderer. Yeah. Is the um? I think I know who killed Freed. Is the um well, that dude? At this hotel. Yep. Right before you killed him. 
I'm not letting you get away with this. Lord. You're for each diamond nerd. Damn, diamond nerd. Should have figured you'd be in town. You're gonna confess to the murder. Whatever you want. But let's go to the police. He's an ex cop, you know. I'll tell the truth. No. Can I use your phone? You're an idiot. Never held a gun before, have you? Yay. Yeah. You gonna kill me now, too? Just shake no. in every minute. Need you to clean those diamonds first. Oh, shit. That'll kill you. I don't think my sweet ass time. Ella, you're too close to no, it. Close to I it. can help. Hey, hey, brother. hey, Just trust me, okay? I promise you, we got this. Oh, God. Do you still still fighting? Oh, I, as Lucifer, I would have beat both y'all asses. I had a whoop bought y'all asses. Just walk away a minute then. Mark, we don't have to do this. You didn't have to curse me either, but you did that, didn't you? You killed your brother. You did Ah, oh, shit. You deserve. You know nothing about what I deserve. Oh, I know that my father is punishing you because you killed your own brother. You notice anyone else in here who plotted to kill his own brother? No, that was different. It's only different because you failed. True. At least I had the balls to do it myself. True. You pawned the task off on someone else. You're worse. True. And if this is punishment that I get for my crimes, what do you deserve? Mmm. There it is, that look on your face. Okay, I need to stop seeing him without it's impaling him. Can you get off? Please. Hello? Nah, stay your ass there, Pierce. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Maze? Jay! Lazy with this psycho killer, Jay, are you nuts? See? Left handed. I knew you were innocent. Are you two done? LAPD knows that you killed Freed Monsieur thanks to your on fleek shoe game. <laughs> on fleek? We still. Oh, wait. When diamonds. did this season come out? Yeah, fleek might have been a word. Greedy. Cut me out. Here comes me. Oh, maze! Dead heart! Jesus! That's so maze. <laughs> so the night. Just came out of nowhere, huh? Yep, just random blade out of thin air. And anyone could have thrown it. Crazy. Ella, I know it was Mace. Yeah. Oh, she's my roommate. I recognize the knife. But don't worry, she's not in trouble. She was just trying to protect you, right? She saved my life. So I doubt the DA will press charges. All he did was intend to change the serial numbers. He didn't do it, okay. It's not a crime. Lucky Jay. I'm sure if any other cop had been working this case, he would have ended up in prison. Or worse. My God, did the world just turn upside down? Did you just admit to being wrong? <laughs> I wouldn't quite go that far. <laughs> I'm sure if you had a brother, he... He would be very proud of you. Oh, look at... Look at Lucifer. Anyway, the whole torrid affair started with a bag of stolen diamonds, so... Where are the diamonds? True. Oh, we're still checking Zygol stuff, you know, houses, cars. Did I forget something at your office? No, I uh, I actually actually came to apologize mm. for refusing to treat you. My extreme reaction had nothing to do with how scary <laughs> your story sounded. Believe me, I've heard much, much worse. I was holding you accountable for things you simply didn't do. I heard you didn't I during my last time. Mm. It wasn't you. So if you want, to come back for a session, I'd I'd like to try and help for both of us. Mm. Ow! <sighs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, hand clapping never gets old, does it? Clearly, this wasn't a one-time deal. It seems you're not quite as virtuous as your sister would like to believe. So you felt entitled to stick your hand in the proverbial cookie jar because it took care of your family. <laughs> Take care of my family. So if I get a little bit too, so what? You're gonna tell, aren't you? All right, just 
Let me do it. You ain't gonna do shit. She's here for me. You're not gonna tell her anything. Okay, at least you ain't gullible, Lucifer. Then neither am I. Miss Lopez puts a lot of faith in you, and losing that faith would hurt her. And I won't allow that to happen. Then we'll act together, I promise. No need to promise, J. Lopez. Because I'll be watching you, and if you ever disappoint her again, I'll come for you. His eyes flashed there a little bit. Interesting. His eyes flashed a little bit. Yeah, um, you need to whoop both Amenity and Kane's ass when you see your place. But the body says, <laughs> whoop the asses. What does the other guy look like? <laughs> Alive. Immortal? I'm the one that gave Pierce his heart. So that's why you wouldn't help. This has nothing to do with me. I, I couldn't just remove it even if I wanted to because it's supposed to be there. You think you're friends with Pierce. I get it, but I am warning you, Lucy. He has but one selfish goal. And working with him will only incur father's wrath. <laughs> That's the bloody point. <laughs> you want your father to be mad. Look, I know you're just being a good older brother. As I am my brother's keeper. I am Other. grateful. Brother, truly, I am. You crazy, Lucifer. All that I am saying is that this alliance with Pierce will not end well. Oh, I can only hope. And all I'm saying is that if you continue to meddle and meta deal, then you will be in my way. Wow. Well, brother. Wow. Yes. I guess I'll be in your way. Oh, okay. That was not the answer I was expected. Um, you gotta clean up this place, boy. Come back. Okay. Okay. Back to that good episode. You lied to me, season three. You lied to me. That mean next episode gonna be shit. Yeah. Mm -mm. You, you. <laughs> I didn't know that feeling, cause ain't no way you gave us two good back to back episodes. Nah. <laughs> nah. So, there's so much to unpack. There's so much to unpack. Let's start with Ella. Let me tell you something. I get this is a TV show. I get that. But there's the, the reason there's reasons I like certain characters and it's because I need them to be a little realistic. The reason I'm disliking Ella in season 3, I didn't mind Perky Ella. Perkiness is part of people's um, personality. I, the perkiness never bothered me before. It bothered me because when she first introduced, it's like you have this perky person. No one else was ever perky, so that was like uh, she threw me off. But I got to like her. This Ella is, is pissing me off because she at this at your big age, at your big age, you should know by now you don't put you don't bank on people. And I'm not saying you don't trust people. I'm just saying there's there's people in this world that get let down. Parents get let down. Spouses get let down because they like to say, my child will never do such a thing. Or my spouse or partner will never cheat on me. And then they get egg on their face. You, this is the world we live in. You don't bank on people no matter how many. You, in the back of your mind, there should always be a... Uh, there's a possibility that my sibling, that this person, can hurt me. So for Ella in this big age to be thinking that all is green, unicorns, and those things is like, that is so, that's too unrealistic for me to like. So that's my thing with that, like in Ella in season three. She's too unrealistic for me to just like, to, 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 um, to enjoy, basically. So I'll say that with that. This was a good um, case for the fact that I didn't see that the brother was going to actually end up being the bad guy. I just thought it was going to be Lucifer being portraying. You know how Lucifer is. Now, I this episode now makes me believe that Pierce is actually a bad guy. He's still a bad guy. Because... I feel 
the way he was talking to um, Amida Deal, there is going to be repercussions for helping for Lucifer. There's going to be big repercussions, and Kane knows there's going to be a huge repercussion, but he's still letting um, Lucifer help because he truly wants to fight God. And I just don't know what the repercussion is going to be. Because I was assuming that if he gets the mark off, that Kane would instantly die. But the fact that the way that Kane talks, he shows no remorse for killing Abel. He, it's like, yeah, something major is going to happen because there is no... When he talks about brothers, it, there is a sadness, but I feel like that's a sadness because he doesn't have a companion. His, it gives you know your sibling is a companion. But the way he was talking with Amelody tells me he has no regrets. He has really no regrets about killing Abel. He was he was basically telling Amelody, hey, okay, yeah, that, that's my part. Yeah, I really don't. Because look, look what he said. Don't you think the punishment is a little harsh? I'm like, you killed somebody. You killed your own sibling. You are the first murderer. You can't... The fact that you cannot sit there and realize that this punishment is worthy of you tells me you are not a good guy. You're not. You're not, not the way you want us to think you are. You're not. Because... For you to not accept it, but like, hey, if I'm in this punishment, you need to be in this punishment too. Well, Amila Deal is getting his karma. Look at all that happens to Amila Deal. I believe that he's getting his karma. Now, the only thing I disagree with Amila Deal is his test. I don't think that's his test. But I think, well, in a way, it could be his test because as, um, as Kane pointed out, the only difference between me and you is that you fail. So I wonder if this could also be God's way of his punishment saying, well, you didn't kill Lucifer, but you need to be punished for the attempts on his life and etc. So maybe him losing his power is his, and I mean, they'll have this heartiness of him being superior to, to humans. So that is, but Cain, we need to keep a close eye on Cain. Cain gonna do some foolishness. That is going to get us all rocked. And Lucifer, you need to stay away from Cain. Because, but I'm really proud of Mildy for saying that, well, I will be in your way. Because I really thought he, he was like, I'm going to wash my hands with you. But he's like, no, I'm going to stop you from getting into this entanglement with, with, with Cass and incurring the wrath of God. Because... As he said, I don't know how to take it off. I just put it on because I was just the messenger. But you just sit there and try to take away this mark on a person who has showed no remorse at all. Again, my early analysis, he hasn't shown any remorse for killing Abel. You're going to get yourself in pure trouble. But at the same time, did y'all see his eyes flash just a little bit? It flashed. No, I don't know if that was a lighting effect that just happened to just make the cut. You know, sometimes there's certain times they just, you know, like, oh, I don't really, really don't want to reuse, re um, reshoot this part. And they just kept it in. But if it's not, his eyes flash just a little bit. And instead of his wings pop up, it flashed as though he was going into his devil face. So, if that is intentional, again, that now changes the whole story again of what's going on with his devil face but this was a really good episode i really enjoyed this episode now i know next episode not gonna be all that hot because ain't no way you give us back-to-back -back episodes that was really good for you to give us another back-to-back -back episode next episode can't be that good no i refuse to believe it season three has has um has ruined me to believe that i will be getting good episodes i'm so sorry so We'll see. But with that being said, if you enjoyed my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment in the comment section. Guys, a like, a sub, a comment, a share of this video goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.